Hello again. Yes, it's that time. It's eight o'clock on a Tuesday, which only means one thing, the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Ryan. This is a show that's been running now for several years. Tonight's show, I can honestly say, is one of the best that I've seen in that time. We have six cruises to touch with. Well, actually seven, because one of the cruises is a dual cruise. You get an ocean cruise and a river cruise. Honestly, it's one of the best shows. And we've got massive price reductions. But I have been told that Keith and I can't waffle on too much. This is Keith, by the way. <laughs> King of waffling. No, he's not. Are you waffling? <laughs> oh, oh, put her on the kettle black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. But Keith's with us, our fantastic cruise expert. He's travelled the world numerous times. We've got so much to get through, though. We're not going to talk much at the beginning, are we? No, no we're not at all. No, we're going to move straight on and say that we're going to some amazing places, including yeah. a chance to go to Niagara Falls. We've got a chance to go out to Rio de Janeiro, the Aquasi Falls. We've got uh, river cruises. We've got the Baltic. We've got I, the Mediterranean. Caribbean. I know, honestly, we've got it all. It's um, amazing. Keith, as many of you all know, he's, he was worked on the cruise ships for 12 years, he's travelled the world numerous times, round and round and round, but you might have never booked with Planet Cruise. Here's some of the reasons why you should today. And, I mean, there are many reasons, Keith, but here's a few, isn't Yeah, it? well, first of all, we're, we're, we're all kind of experts. We've all either worked with the cruise ships ourselves, as in working at sea, or we cruise regularly, and most of us both. So again, you're getting first-hand knowledge, outstanding track record for customer services, a 96% feedback rating online at the moment. We, uh, we work with all the different cruise lines, we're the largest independent operator, and we're the number one seller for most of the brands yeah. we sell, and you'll see that throughout the show. And we tailor make, we create bespoke holidays around what you want. So if you see anything tonight, and you think, I'd like to tweak that, Get in touch, get on the phone, we'd love to hear from now, you. Now, if you wanted to have a one-to-one -one appointment with the team, you can actually do that as well. You just need to give us a call on that free phone number, which is 0800 840 1088. How does that work then, Keith? Well, they can come in to the, actually, uh, we're based in Portsmouth Planet Cruise. They can actually so come in, have, sit down, have a cup great. of tea and meet us face to face and have a chat to one of the team. We've got an amazing big team there and they'll be happy to chat to you. So if you don't want to do it over the phone, you don't want to do it over the internet, come and chat to yeah. us in person and we'd love to see you. Right. We've got to get a move on because we've got one of the busiest shows ever. We're going to start off with a fantastic cruise with Princess on board the Emerald Princess. And this one starts at 599. Let's take you on board and just give you a taste of what Princess Cruises is like. Now, I have to say, Keith, I only cruised with Princess recently, but I absolutely love the experience. Yeah, they are, they are an, incredible, they're an incredible company. And um, I think we've got some, some wonderful... Um, kind of descriptions here about the company that they're going to bring in. But this is uh, an amazing oh. American company with beautiful opulent surroundings, fantastic cuisine and gorgeous cabins. And honestly, the most incredible service and food. So, Keith and I will rest our voices and let John take over and tell you more. The experience on the Emerald Princess is sure to be an unforgettable one. So with so much going on on board Emerald Princess, it's a good idea to get some inside information. And who better to ask than the cruise director, Kelvin. How are you? Thanks, very good. Thanks for coming along and talking to us. Thank you. Now, you've been here, you know, what, 15 years with Princess? Princess, 15 years. I, yeah, I joined uh, actually the Sun Princess, which is a smaller ship than the, uh, the Emerald, in 1998. What can people expect the first time they come on board Emerald Princess? Well, there's a huge variety. Um, we have uh, singers, we have musicians, uh, instrumentalists, magicians, comedians. Comedians are a big thing with the, the Brits. The Brits. They seem they to love them. There. But then, yeah. of course, we have uh, big production shows as well with our singers and dancers. You know, we, we offer, uh, on this ship in particular, four big production shows. And uh, actually, a brand new show that was only premiered about two weeks ago is our international music event, okay. which is unique to the cruising industry because it involves all our musicians on the ship into one big show. Wow. And if someone was cruising on Emerald Princess for the first time, what can they expect? Well, I think for the uh, first time, I think they've uh, got to open up their mind and, uh, you know, really enjoy everything that the ship has to offer, even try stuff that they may never have tried before, you know, with so many different activities and shows uh, going on. Um, but yeah, they really need to, I think, open up their mind and I think they'll enjoy, enjoy everything. Yeah. Well, exciting time. Yeah, thank you very much, Kelvin. Pleasure. Cheers. Great to have you on board. I, so I honestly love my experience with Princess. It's fantastic standards and just a lovely atmosphere as well. Really, really great atmosphere. That's the thing. And people might be watching this show for the first time, you know, completely unaware about what cruising is. You'll be blown away doing your first cruise. My partner recently did her first cruise 
that's it now. She doesn't, she doesn't want to do anything else. She just wants to go back and just be taken care of the service. The fact you wake up somewhere different every day yeah. is amazing. And, and it is easy, well. isn't it? Really is easy. Really, you know? really easy. Yeah, it's an easy holiday. You're totally yeah. right. I mean, it can be complicated if you want to make it more complicated, but technically, everything's done for you. And honestly, you make your cruise, whatever, you know, whatever you're into, you can do on board a cruise ship. Anyway, talking mm. of easy, this one actually sails from Southampton. So no flying or anything like that. You can take as much luggage as you like, Keith. That's right, you can. And then you have a relaxing date seat to familiarise yourself with that beautiful ship that Jonathan was talking us through there on board Princess. All the entertainment which is included. Uh, and then you're sailing over to Vigo, which clings to the slopes of the Monte del Castro. It's a huge bay as well, but it overlooks. In fact, this is the bay in which the Armada was launched against us many, many years ago. This is Grease Brain. This is a popular retreat for Spaniards. It's great for its seafood. It's it's beautiful, it's an amazing fish market, in fact, which I recommend you to go and do. And there's also a chance to go to the Santiago de Compostela, one of the most venerated, uh, venerated shrines in all of Europe during the Middle Ages. Uh, and also wine tasting. Oh, big, big of course. Here. Okay, Lisbon's next. This is the Portuguese capital. You're sailing by the Tagus River. It's an amazing arrival. Uh, it's a great chance for you to sail past 15th century fortifications and then look at this bright yellow uh, city that's full of hills and these gorgeous yellow trams and custard tarts. It's a great place to explore. By the trams, tram 28 and 15, your two best ones. That's the Bellum Tower, dates back to the 15th century. Or take tram 15 out to this place, uh, the wonderful monasteries here on the seafront where Vasco da Gama's tomb is kept. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? It's really incredible. Um, then you're going from here, from Lisbon, a relaxing day at sea, again enjoying all the ship has to offer before you go through to La Rochelle, over to France now. So we've done Spain, we've done Portugal, now we're in France, your third country, or your fourth if you count England. 14th century tin towers, twin towers of the of the St Nicholas Fort, where this uh, wonderful chain used to be linked across. That's that's the iconic image here uh, of La Rochelle and the wonderful little port. Very picturesque inside, lots of little fishing boats, lots of little cafes around the outside for you to go and enjoy. And then you can go and tickle your taste buds and visit Cognac. Uh, called famous for um, Quinnifacer, for Hennessy, for the Martel Cellars, and many, many more. So if you like your, you like your drinks, this is what. Stop don't... looking at me, Keith. Well, sorry, sorry. And then finally, Guernsey, St Peter's Port, one of the prettiest ports in the whole of the Mediterranean. Really gorgeous. It's really pretty, isn't it? Big surprise. Many people can't believe it when they go there. And of course, it's tax havens. So you've got a lot of great bistros there, places where people go and have their business lunches. You can hike the island. You can take the local bus system. There's only two. They go in opposite directions, and they give you a chance to go and tour the German fortifications because it was the only place in the Second World War that was occupied, of course, by the Germans. The only part of the UK that was occupied. It, honestly, it is a, a beautiful, fascinating place. And then back to Southampton, of course, as well. Now, I've got a few tips for you if you're booking this one tonight, so we do think it's going to go very quickly. A deposit only is needed, but let's just show you what's included as well. Now, we've got tonight a free upgrade from Ocean View to Balcony. The Balcony price, just put in the picture, is $799. If you go for the balcony, you will get the full $300 on board spend. The way that works, when you get on board the ship, you'll already have $300, which is about, what's about, ooh, $300 could be about £200, isn't it? it and you'll is. have that on your account. Now, you could spend that on shopping, duty-free, drinks. You could put it towards things like your gratuities, your shore excursions, but you'll actually have $300 on your account as you board. So and really again, there's so much you can do with that. As you said, you can, yeah. go, to, you can go get a massage in the spa, you can go to the shops on board. Remember, there's big shopping arcades on these ships as well where you can go to handbags and watches and duty free. It's incredible. You spend on what you want. They're destinations in themselves, aren't they? They really are. So, honestly, go for the balcony. You've got a free upgrade anywhere, and you only pay seven nine nine. Oh, by the way, if you want to spend the night in Southampton like before, we do a special offer with me and Valley Marriott. It's only £79 per person, and you get free parking and you return port transfers as well. Now, um, it's a personal transfer. We should say that. You yeah. get a personal taxi transfer from the hotel to the port, and then you get picked up again at the end of the cruise. You feel like a celebrity arriving on the red carpet. You really do. It's, it's a great... A, a real celebrity, not extra. Zedless like Keith Knight. Yeah, exactly. Now, <laughs> Zed? I'm, I'll be happy to be Zed. I'm wild. Yeah, so so. <laughs> now, um, um, our next cruise, I think, is unbelievable. It's with five-star celebrity, five-star mm. model luxury. Keith's just come back from celebrity, and this is a two-week cruise, and you even get a drinks package as well. But here's Keith on board to tell you more. Launched in 2010 by round-the-world English yachtswoman Emma Ponting, the multi-award winning Celebrity Eclipse is one of the most beautiful and well-appointed ships I've ever had the pleasure of sailing on. Welcome to Modern Luxury.
There's daily enrichment opportunities on board with hands-on art classes, Rosetta Stone language courses, engaging public speakers, and even a chance to polish your jive or learn Zumba. But best of all is this place. It's called the Lawn Club. Real grass, expansive views, live concerts, lawn bowls, croquet, and just behind me, the excellent hot glass show. Each one of Eclipse's 12 bars has its own unique feel. Try a new wine or two at Cellar Masters. Lovers of luxury will adore the skill of the mixologists at the world's first ever world-class bar. But if you like to be in the heart of the action, then definitely try the Martini Ice Bar. Over a hundred amazing cocktails, juggling bartenders, and the chance to write your name in the ice. There are ten restaurants to choose from, so as you cruise around the world, so do your taste buds. You can dive into a delicious plate of true rustic Italian cuisine at the Tuscan Grill, or devour a plate of filet mignon in the French-themed and Michelin-style quality Murano's. But for something that sums up celebrity in a nutshell, you simply must try cuisine. The menu is presented on an iPad, and it includes things like sushi lollipops, lobster escargot, popcorn fish, and disco shrimp. I tell you what, eating has never been so much fun. The plush main theatre on board a Celebrity Eclipse offers cutting-edge shows to rival the West End, Vegas and Broadway, with musical theatre tribute shows and song and dance spectaculars. Designed by a very talented group of five ladies and with six different varieties to choose from, all of Celebrity Eclipse's staterooms offer true modern luxury. From comfortable inside staterooms through to these gorgeous suites, which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies and your own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. I mean, Keith and I both agree, and we don't agree on everything, but we both agree <laughs> that celebrity, their experience, what they offer right now, they're, they're really top of their game, aren't they? Yeah, they're five star, and, and as we said in that, in, that, in that video there, it's modern luxury. The ships are very modern, they're very clean, um, they're, it's a very kind of young, kind of trendy atmosphere on board, you know. Again, throughout what your impressions of cruising are, celebrity are rewriting the book, and they're yeah. doing it in style. I think the fact that Keith took his first girlfriend that he's had in seven years on board Celebrity <laughs> says, <laughs> says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Does say a lot. You had to get it right, didn't you? I did have to get it right. <laughs> it, yeah. Anyway, uh, again, this is from Southampton. It is an amazing cruise. <laughs> and look at the date, July, we're going to get the best temperatures for this part of the world. So the first port, Keith, is Bruges, isn't it? That's right. Yes, it's Zeebrugge. You've your chance, of course, to go out to the fields of Flanders if you want to, to go over to Brussels, the home of NATO and bureaucracy. But of course, beer, chocolate is all over Belgium, but Bruges, probably be one of the most popular great chance to hire a bike cycle around the city go to choco story the history of chocolate or go to a diamond museum and find out how the sparkle can really add something to your life beautiful place now a couple of days at sea next there's so much to do on the ship at those days at sea loads to do sean yeah loads of great interesting lectures great entertainment it's really fun i'll just do what i did most of the time sit and read a book yeah you know i mean go to cafe albaccio and get a hot chocolate or a coffee brilliant then you've got day five St stockholm sweden it's spread out over 14 islands this is my favorite destination uh, it's an enchanting place with these wonderful terracotta roof buildings shimmering amongst these canals again because 14 different islands you can see the whole city from the water you can go and get a Swedish massage of course we know massage really in that style from Sweden in the wonderful Art Nouveau uh, Swedish uh, massage houses maybe pos pop over into the Vasa Museum 95% complete warship that sunk in the 17th century incredible um, there's so much to see and do here but whatever you do make sure you go to Gamla Stan the old medieval heart and it's an incredible place, the largest such preserved complex in the whole of Europe. Then you're going over through to Tallinn, to Estonia. This is a medieval storybook world uh, where the world's oldest surviving Gothic town hall sits proud amongst these winding cobbled streets full of flower stalls and handmade jams. Beer and mead is two of the other things you can get just off here in some of the restaurants. It's quite quirky, quite fun. Okay, then you're going over to St. Petersburg. Now, you've got two overnights here. That's very rare for a start. Normally, you get an overnight to explore. Two overnights gives you so much extra time. It gives you a chance to go to the ballet in the evening. It gives you a chance to go to the conservatoire, to see some folk dancing, to wander out and do a twilight cruise on the River Neva, which kind of uh, travels down this beautiful city, to go and see some of the three million works of art uh, in, in the Winter Palace and the Hermitage this mighty ode uh, to the power of what man can create when he puts his will to it. You've got, of course, the, the great Church of Blood, or the Church of Spilt Blood as it's known, here it is now, almost gingerbread architecture that you can bite off and eat, and the great palaces like the Peterhof, um, you know, these, these amazing places where the Romanovs used to live. The colours look amazing. They, they really are, they really are incredible, it's an incredible city to go and visit, Sean. It's great for shopping as well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's obviously great for vodka, and also for picking up um, old uh, Russian army and special naval, I've got 
a wonderful sailor's hat, um, which I put on Twitter recently, that I got the first time I came here in 2000. Amazing. Okay, then we're going through to a relaxing day at sea, through to Berlin. The actual port of call is Wernermunde, and it's a medieval holiday spot for the Germans. Uh, and you can actually climb the lighthouse, look down the, look down the wonderful sandy uh, beaches that you can see here. These are called Stankorbs. They're wicker, wicker chairs, and you can sit in there and read a book or just enjoy the views. However, Berlin's the big pool here. Go and see Checkpoint Charlie about the history, uh, of course, of the Berlin Wall, all the escape attempts and how thankfully it was finally pulled down. Go and see the Brandenburg Gate. Uh, go and see all the other big hitters in Germany. Or just try schnitzel um, or try a little bit of absinthe around one of the old dodgy bolt holes. Great fun. Okay, then we're saying going from there, from Berlin, and going through to Copenhagen. Uh, Copenhagen, of course, is Denmark. It's a city of spires. Uh, people set the pace here, not cars. It's gorgeous. We know it, of course, with Hans Christian Andersen. And he used to walk as a kid down this area you're going to see next. Uh, it's called Nyhaven. Brightly coloured buildings. These wonderful, wonderful boats bobbing around there in the canal. I got my first tattoo down there. You can head out to some great, great palaces all around here. Rosenberg, you're seeing a picture of now where the royal family reside. If the swallowtail flag is in a resonance, that means they're in. And there's a great chance to head out to Tivoli Gardens, the world, one of the world's oldest amusement parks. Forty thousand plants and flowers for you to go and enjoy. Yeah, I'd, I'd love that. Brilliant. Yeah. Particularly if you're there with a the family, Sean, it's an amazing place to go and see. Try Danish pastry, try an open face sandwich. Amazing. Relaxing days at sea. And yeah, a couple of days at sea, then back to Southampton. Now, this offer is even better than you first think, uh, and this is why. We, we actually anticipate extremely busy lines for this one. So you're getting a free upgrade from interior to ocean view. So the price on the screen is for an ocean view. So you've got all of that natural light. You've got those fantastic views when you wake up. Look at this. Because you're getting the upgrade, you'll also get the free classic strings package. Now, Keith, a drinks package for two weeks, you actually worked out how much that is worth per person. Yes, it's, it's, it's worth it. It's coming in on the, with this because it's two weeks, 500, about 530, 20, £532 pounds per, per person, person. It's worth. So you're wow. getting that per person on top of the fact that this is buy one, get one half price, in the sense wow. that that's already been added in with the 1399. So you get, you're paying 75% of what you should be paying there in that price, and you're getting a drinks package on top. So on the, and you'll know, a drinks package for two weeks, as Keith said, you know that. And this isn't just um, you know, all about alcoholic drinks, but gorgeous specialty teas, coffees, sodas, bottled water, which you can take off in, you know, in the ports and things like that. Mm. Selected beers, spirits, wines, cocktails, loads of alcoholic beverages to choose from, um, and also even a discounted dry buying bottle. And loads well. of great, you can get loads of great optics on that. You, know, you can get yeah, yeah. spirits, you know, lots of really good household I, brands are available. I've got to that say, package. that's a drinks package. package I always go for with celebrities. So honestly, to get that as well for two weeks is incredible, and the ocean view. But we know this one is going to go very quickly tonight. You, I'm going to advise you get on the phone quite quickly. I'm thinking of booking it myself. I really am. Because July is the best time, of course, to travel to that part of the world as well. Anyway, there's loads more. Um, how do you feel like going to the sea of the Niagara Falls, New York, and the Caribbean all in one trip? Look at the price. Wow, no, it's crazy, isn't, isn't it? it? Well, we, we featured this this, this particular cruise um, about two or three months ago for a lot more. Yeah, uh, and we put it. And it did really well, didn't it? Did really well, but because the price has fallen even more, we can't believe it. So, last chance to get in on this action. Okay, well, let's take on the journey then. So we flying from London to Toronto, aren't we, Keith? You are, that's right. And then from the airport to Niagara Falls for a two-night stay. And you get a tour, you get a journey behind the falls in this. This is the Niagara Falls. Look at that. I mean, I've never been. I can't imagine how wonderful it is. It, it is an amazing experience, Sean. And, yeah. and again, these photos don't do it justice. Lit up by night, you're going to see some images now. Quite incredible. It's, it's literally more than a million bathtubs of water plummeting over the edge every second. Seriously, a million that. bucks of Absolutely. water? Absolutely. Even I would get clean standing under all that. <laughs> um, it's been a saucy honeymoon destination ever since Napoleon's brother took his bride out that way. You'll see lots of great little hotels and motels with hot tubs and quite a lot of life around there. Big thing to do once you've done the tour, once you've gone on the maiden mist on the ship and, and gone and actually got, you know, got soaked and, and you, they give you the waterproofs. It's great fun, but it's an incredible experience. Then also go out to the Butterfly Conservatory. Um, there's more than 2,000 beautiful butterflies um, in this wonderful rainforest setting. That's the boat there, the, the maiden the mist it's incredible then you had this two days there with this incredible thing to tick off the bucket list and then you get to go to new york but you get to new york via an amtrak train sean this is the, the biggest and best way to travel across the states at the moment and we should say you just need to make your own way from the hotel to the train station but a little cab ride it. will do it won't absolutely it? yeah yeah so it's the only part of the the whole holiday which isn't which is completely organized and that's because you literally we can't do no. it from there so 
Uh, after you've done that, you then go on the wonderful Amtrak train, big windows as you travel through New York State into New York, the city that never sleeps, the home, of course, of so much, the 843 uh, huge park right in the center where you can go ice skating, where you can go and watch the kids playing, where you can go and see strawberry fields. It, it, um, just, it could take you hours just to walk around the park. It, it really, really can. Central Park is incredible. And then, of course, you've got so much more than that, Sean. Uh, you've got Times Square. You know, you can yeah. go, and go to Broadway and see one of the new shows. Um, you know, you can go on one of the open top buses and Times Square is the best place to go there. And I, what I think about New York is, is it's a wonderful, glorious mishmash of stereotypes. You feel like you're on a film set because you've got the NYPD with their shades, their over 80 shades and the big peak caps. You've got the wonderful guys in the kind of the construction helmets and like something out of the YMCA. You know, you've got Ellis Island and Lady Liberty there. It's an incredible, and you're going to sail past that. You're going to sail right, we're almost within touching distance. And we are, we should say, you are in New York, you've got three nights. Do you know, I'd be tempted to take a half empty suitcase because you can actually buy loads of great clothes in New York for your cruise, couldn't you? Absolutely, Sean. That'd be a really, really good yeah, idea. Again, because the exchange rate's so good at the moment as oh, well. And the prices are ridiculous. It's, honestly, designer gear is so cheap in New York. Isn't really, it? really, really cheap. Absolutely. And you could do with a good shop, Sean. So it'd be <laughs> really good. But no, I would, I would say it's a definitely an amazing place to go and enjoy. And if you get a chance as well, you can head down to the pier where um, Titanic should have, would, have, would have arrived as yeah. well. And you can see all the history down there of the great ships that used to pull in and the immigration process. It is amazing. Mm. Anyway, then, if that wasn't enough, how about a 10-night cruise around the Caribbean? So that's what's going to happen next. And it's from Norwegian Cruise Line, so I really, really like, and we're going to give you a taste of them right now. One of the reasons that I love them is because they're, they're very relaxed. It's freestyle cruising, they're isn't fun. it? They're fun, yeah. they're relaxed, they're laid back. Um, you know, again, throw all those cruise stereotypes out the window. You can see just by the fact the ship's been, uh, you know, decorated on the outside. The kids' club got involved there, and the fact that you know you can have, you can really have fun with yeah. them. And they, they they create something called freestyle dining and freestyle cruising, where you create how you want to enjoy the cruise. So no set dining times, anything like no that. Set too. dining times, shows that are shorter and more frequent, so you can make the most of it. Uh, you huge. Look at that, that. That's just part of the open deck space there. We've got these huge water slides going down. Um, you've got a great feeling with Norwegian cruise lines where you have literally loads and loads of different restaurants from French bistros to steak houses to sushi bars, room service available around the clock with pizza. They do their wonderful pizza on 24-7. You come back at 3 in the morning. Do you know, I remember that now. I, had, I did have a lot of pizza. Yeah, my you do. <laughs> you come back at 3 in the morning, you could order a pizza. They'll bring yeah, it round to you. Yeah. It's incredible. But, you know, on top of that, these great spas. You can get hot stone massages. You've got all the great entertainment great comedy it, it, it's like Las Vegas at sea yeah. I mean you could do some serious sunbathing here couldn't you you know depending on which time of the year you go absolutely you've got, you've got three days at sea to start the cruise haven't you absolutely and you've got that you've got a drinks package while that so while you're no. out, you're an all-inclusive drinks package so you're gonna actually be able to enjoy that as you head out and, and actually and actually do that do that yeah, I run. forgot and that's for all cabin yeah. grades as well isn't it all cabin grades so whatever cabin grade you're on as you're heading out there and you're sunbathing and you're doing the entertainment you are sipping those pina coladas you are knocking back those wrong cocktails and I'm a Rodney you know what I mean it's fantastic okay or then we're going to refreshing Perrier water, I <laughs> of course, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not encouraging alcoholic drink, uh, d um, drinking here. No, no, cool stuff. Uh, San Juan is your first port of call when you get out there. The oldest city under the American flag. An incredible place for you to go and see uh, the Bacardi Museum. Maybe to trek through the Oyonki National Rainforest and search for the island's rare uh, tree frog, or to see the old sp Spanish colonial buildings and the architecture. It's an incredible port of call, and of course has great beaches. It's the Caribbean. Yeah. Then we're going to St Thomas. I know I know this is a massive favourite of yours. Oh, it is. Been there a few times now. Oh, it's a beautiful. Of course, oh. it's got, well, according to National Geographic and many other people, one of the prettiest bays in the whole Caribbean, Magan's Bay. You've got great shopping. It's named, of course, um, Charlotte Amelie after the Queen of Denmark, uh, and it's a very pretty place. You can go zip lining, you can go kayaking, all the different kinds of fun water sports. You can do it here. Then we're going from here um, through to Philipsburg. This is St. Martin. This is part Dutch, part French. We dock in the Dutch side. A great chance to go duty free shopping to get some great electronic bargains. Head to Airport Beach if you really want to live the high life. The planes come in as they land and suck you out of the water. It's incredible. It really, really yeah, I've is. I've done that and it's fascinating, actually. It's, it's a really good fun to do. Uh, try Old Man Guava Berry Run when you're on this island. It's unique to the island. And maybe go and do the America's Cup yacht race uh, where you get to race these old America's Cup yachts against another crew. 
been the number one attraction, number one tour in the Caribbean for the last 10 years. Then we're going through to Tortola. This is the BVI, the British Virgin Islands. We used to be in here every week uh, back in the day and, and I absolutely love it. Did a lot of great diving around here. If you are a scuba diver, you can also just go and swim with dolphins. You can head into the pretty road town itself, get an afternoon tea. Uh, you can head on to some beautiful beaches like Smuggler's Cove, Apple Bay. That's one of my favourites. Uh, it's an amazing pretty island that used to be the haunt of many pirates like Blackbeard and Bluebeard, Sir Francis Drake. And then you've got a couple of days at sea, just enjoy that drinks package as Keith Absolutely. mentioned. <laughs> and Almost everything Perrier waters as you yeah. rightly mentioned. <laughs> and then back to New York. Um, now let's just remind you what's clear. It's an amazing offer. Um, a free all-inclusive drinks package on all cabin grades. Even the inside, you'll get the drinks package. And again, it's a, you know, it's a good length of cruise. That's worth an awful lot of money. Return flights are based on London. You've got that Niagara Falls, Journey Behind the Falls tour. And you also get the two-night stay in a full-star hotel in Niagara Falls and the Amtrak train journey from Niagara to New York. Now, um, just to remind you what the free drinks includes, um, spirits and cocktails, wine by the glass, bottled of draft beers, and fountain soda and juice of course as well all of that is included incredible. and the price yeah, it's brilliant isn't it's really it? incredible um, and in terms of the different grades of cabin I've just noticed here that the difference between the inside and the ocean view is actually very little on most of those dates isn't it it is and imagine the great thing about that is you're gonna sail out of New York Harbour now I've done this many times on Queen Mary 2 and it is an incredible experience you're gonna go under Brooklyn Bridge you're gonna sail past uh, Lady Liberty, Ellis Island, all virtually within touching distance. Imagine doing that on your own balcony with a glass of champers in your hand that you've got as part of your, your drinks package. Well, an amazing offer, but you do need to call us. We think that's going to fly. So we've got one of the best shows ever in the last several years. Now, the, um, I've just heard the phone ringing in the gallery. That's always a good sign during this show because it means a hot deal has just come in live today. <laughs> and I believe we've got, is it Michael on the phone line from Planet Hi Cruise? guys. Hey Hello Michael. Michael. Hi, good evening. Busy, busy. I bet you are tonight. <laughs> now, <laughs> Mike, Michael, have you got a, a hot deal for us? Is that oh, right? I have. It's exclusive to Planet Cruise. It's just come in live today. It's a new reduced price. It's a Thompson Cruise. It's on the Thompson Celebration on the 5th of November. Um, it's a really amazing cruise. Well, don't know it yet, but I'm booking on to go on it for myself. Um, it's a free upgrade from an inside to an outside. 17 nights, Malaga to Barbados. And it's an incredible value of 889 per person. No! That's, uh, that's so, brilliant. I, like, hang on, ju I'll just recap that one final time, because I, um, I think it sounds too good to be true. 17 nights, yes? Yep, the... 17 nights. 5th of November. You're leaving on the 5th yep. of November this year, yeah? He's a base from Gatwick or Birmingham, but obviously we can offer other regional airports as well. Yeah. And where's the cruise going from again? Um, so from Malaga. Yeah. And then Ports of Call is going down to Gibraltar, uh, St. Chow in Madeira, St. John's in Antigua, St. Martin, St. Kitts, Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and then finally St. Grenada and into Barbados. So an amazing itinerary as well, some really hang, good ports of call. Oh, hang on, that's seven, that's seven Caribbean ports. That's better than I thought. I mean, I used to do transatlantics with, with, with Thompson all the time. That's incredible. But that's seven yeah, Caribbean ports really, really on good. top of Obviously that. Really, really good. Obviously exclusive to us at Panic Cruise. Listen, it's going to fly. Was it, what was the price again? Eight, eight, nine of a free upgrade from an inside to an to outside. An outside. So, yeah, I'm booking it myself. Michael, I'm going to book it myself. <laughs> Thank you, you very much, Michael. That's OK. Enjoy the rest of the show. See you later. Well, there we go. Thank so you. we're moving on. Thanks, Michael, very much. Thanks, Bye. <laughs> that's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And that's, and that's going to get hotter every day, of course. That's you're what going, I was you're thinking. You're going to the Mediterranean over uh, to finish in the Caribbean. Incredible. Right. Give us a Seriously, uh, that is the most ridiculous price for that one. You, last time we had a hot deal like that, we had hundreds of you pick up the phone. You need to do it tonight, I'm going to suggest. Exclusively said to Planet as well. And celebration, a much loved Thompson ship on there myself many uh -huh. years. She's beautiful. I've got, you know, I, I've, I'm almost, I, seriously, I'm sort of shaking with excitement with that one. Anyway, mm. our next cruise is with P&O. And we've had a price reduction on this one with Oceana. Let's take you on board with Keith again. At just 77,000 tonnes, P&O Cruises Oceana may not be the biggest in the fleet, but she certainly packs a mighty punch. Fresh from her recent refitting, she was extensively and expensively refurbished and looks absolutely beautiful. Oh. You know, as a proud Englishman, the centre of my universe has always been my local pub. 
and on P&O you really won't go wrong by visiting this beautiful yacht and compass nautically themed pub which serves up a healthy selection of Britain's best. On top of that you can really live the high life on this ship with the bubbles of the Magnum Champagne Bar or dancing into the wee hours in the chic Le Club. Whether you choose the more traditional fixed dining of the Adriatic or the freedom dining of the Ligurian, both restaurants serve up consistently delicious food from an ever-smiling army of knowledgeable waiters. For those who prefer their dining al fresco, then why not try a super tender steak at the Horizon Grill on Deck 14? You guarantee great taste and even better views. Or pop along and let Marco Pierre White dazzle your taste buds at Café Jardin. Friendly and interactive, as well as diverse, Oceana offers many entertainment options, from the high-rolling fun of the Monte Carlo Club to the cabaret and comedy of Starlights. You can pop along to the atrium for a classical recital, or head here for a pint and watch your favourite team in the winner's sports bar. And then, after a great meal, go to the Footlights Theatre, where you'll be hard-pressed to believe that you're not actually sitting in the West End. Stylish and inviting, Oceana's cabins come in all shapes and sizes, from spacious and fully equipped suites like this, offering a host of extra special touches to mini suites, balcony cabins, and standard inside or outside cabins. But all come with a host of mod cons and a daily steward service, plus the all important tea and coffee making facilities. Because if you're like me, you can't even face the rest of the world without at least one cup of coffee. In my case, I need two or three, Keith, actually, to get me do, going. Do you know what? I've given it up. Have you? I have, yeah. It was too, too tough on my tummy. Oh. I've had to be I'm all health conscious these days. <laughs> That's why it looks so good, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> this, coffee. this one has come down by uh, £200, by the way. So you've got a massive price reduction. Yeah. And, uh, and it's an easy cruise starting from Southampton. A couple of days at sea and over to Lisbon. That's right. Well, I've already talked about Lisbon, so I won't repeat myself, but of course, it is uh, the Portuguese capital, Great Port. Then we're going through to Gibraltar, a tiny piece of port sort of sliced off and towed 500 miles uh, south, according to Larry Lee, anyway. Take the cable car up the rock, enjoy the great views of this strategic masterpiece that guards these amazing straits. You can go out dolphin spotting um, in, in one of the local tour boats, which I do recommend, heading into the actual, um, the actual cliffs themselves, into here, the Cathedral Cave, St. Michael's Cave. Uh, there's more road inside the actual rock than there is outside and of course it's a duty-free paradise. Um, I used to just nip off and uh, get a bottle of cheap bottle of vodka and go and get some P Percy Pigs from Marks and Sparks. That would be my that'd be my tour. Okay. Now you've got your healthy life. Hashtag you, working you, on board. Yeah, you never do that now you're healthy. No, of course case. not. No. no, no, no. It's a bottle of Perrier and um, and some apples. Okay, then we're moving on. Relaxing day at sea before we go to Barcelona. Uh, this is incredible. This is your chance to delve into the uh, the land of, uh, of Spain with some of the best urban beaches in the world. Barcelona on your front doorstep, about 20 minutes walk from where you dock. The great artwork of Gaudi all over the city. You can wander up Las Ramblas, of course. Uh, you can head out to the holy mountain of Montserrat. You can go to the famous New Camp. Uh, see the wonderful stadium of football, the, the, the museum there, dedicated to Pele and many other great players. It's an incredible city. Go and try some tapas. Go to La Bucera, uh and see the wonderful, huge chilitos hanging. You love a bit of chilito, I know, Sean. Then we're going through I do, I love to... Barcelona. I always say it, but I do. Love it. You do. Then we're going through to Marseille. This is uh, your gateway to Provence, uh, to France's oldest seaport. It's great for exploring on foot. It's great for the history of places like Chateau Delph, which you're seeing here, where the County Monte Cristo was imprisonned. And it's great for Boulevardes, the wonderful fish stew that you can enjoy that the locals serve up in plenty. And that's the best view, uh, uh, the Notre Dame Basilica. Then we're going through from here to Cannes. This is an incredible jet set port that we know all about because of the glitterati, because of the famous film festival. I always think of Addy G on the beach here. I don't know why. I always need to think of Cannes for some odd reason. And his mankini. Sorry about that image, so those of you that are watching. But it's, it's an incredible place where you can wander down uh, the English promenade, where you can see the wonderful beaches, where you can enjoy the local countryside. Uh, it's an incredible part of the world. And it's called the Catwalk by the Sea, literally, by the locals. Then you're going through to now to, over to Italy, um, to Livorno, which is your gateway to Florence and Pisa, to the Renaissance glory, of, of course, of, uh, of, the, of the incredible Florence, the Giromo, you're seeing the picture of it there, one of Italy's big three. The view from the top there across the whole of the city is stunning. The Ponte Vecchio Bridge, the old bridge as it's known with all the jewellery sellers, so many fountains. It's like an open air living museum or of course we all know about the wonderful Tuscan towns that spot uh, and kind of dot the, out the outside of Florence and of course Pisa itself. Then we're going from here um, 
back to Genoa, where you disembark and you fly back to UK. It's a great itinerary. Just look it at is. That. I know. We look at the map there. You cover a lot, actually, don't you? In this one, you really cruise. do. Um, now, loads included. So the price has just come down from 899 to 699. So new juice rates there. Flights based on London. Now, very good, I want to mention this one. Um, if you're closer to Manchester or Birmingham, you can actually get flights from, from those two airports for just 20 pounds per person. So it's just a tiny supplement to change from London to Manchester or Birmingham. And uh, if you are going for the later date, which is the 19th of October, the itinerary operates in reverse. And actually, the prices are quite similar. I just want to show you uh, two dates available on this one, the 27th of March or the 19th of October. But there's, uh, the only difference in price there is £20 on the on the inside and uh, £20 on the suite, a little bit on the single. So not much difference at all. No, if it was me and I had the two, then I'd go in October. But, uh, but they're both great chances yeah. to go to this part of the world. Now, Keith, something very important that you want to share with our viewers right now with Pino and Cunard, isn't this it? This is right, yeah. It's just been released and again, we'll be booking from tomorrow, but we, we recommend you pre-registering now. If you pre-register tonight uh, for one of the world cruises for P&O or for Cunard for 2017, it means as soon as they go live, uh, on general sale tomorrow, our team will be there at five o'clock in the morning, rigging up for you to save you having to do it. So that's why it's best to pre-register. This, this is the iconic way that, in a sense, cruising was born out of the World Cruise. They started back in 1922 on a ship called the Crony. It was a Cunard ship, God. and this is how long this tradition has been going for. Uh, and it's an incredible chance. It, it's on sale now to Peninsula Club members. If you, you know you, you know you're one of those. If you if you're watching, um, we've got the price match guarantee. We've got the double onboard spend for past passengers, and also so the exclusive savings of free Wi-Fi. Again, that's all for the Peninsula Club members that's on sale now. Well, we've still got um, two fantastic offers for you. And our next cruise is with MSC. And this is, I mean, obviously, we, we said at the beginning of the show, one of the, the best shows ever tonight. And you'll see why. Because this is your chance to get away for three weeks and to see Barcelona and go all the way to Brazil. But let's talk about MSC. And as you can see, you saw the little graphic come up on the screen there for those people watching at home. We are the number one seller for MSC, as we are for virtually all the lines that we're selling for today. Look at the ship. Sean. This looks absolutely fantastic. Sporty crystal staircase, you know, pretty much the standard on most MSC ships. It's huge. That was all inside, you know, there's huge kind of interior waterfalls. That kind of infinity pool outside on the open deck. This ship uh, is one of the biggest in MSC's fleet. MSC themselves are the largest family-owned, privately operated cruise company. MSC stands for Mediterranean Shipping Company. Uh, they're based out of Italy, but they, they, they embrace everything to do with the Mediterranean, that wonderful sense of family and friendship and the kind of, kind of fun, but also the style and sophistication. Think about wines from across the Mediterranean, those great foods from pastas through to risottos. Again, the love of the fast car that you're seeing there with the kind of Ferrari um, you know, and that great kind of iconic name in travel. You've also got great stuff for the family. You're seeing here some of the great outside uh, water sports that they have on there, the huge, great tubing, and then food from all over the world, and they always have amazing spas. But the big thing about it is it's a European atmosphere. It's a very laid-back atmosphere. They're not in your face, um, you know, and again, it's your chance to really see the, the, the amazing part of the world in real opulence I, and style. I was going to just look at this. You could be there. I mean, everything looks immaculate, as you say. It's, you know, so opulent and decadent. A big theatre. Really big theatre. Yeah. Again, pe people need to remember, you get entertainment included in the price every night. Not just in the main theatre where you've got comedians and magic shows and, you know, adage and, and, and singing and dancing shows in the West End and Broadway style. But you also get live music in a lot of the bars. You know, you're going to get uh, great classical music played to you. you might, there'll be a disco on board. It's really fun. Yeah. And that is the great thing about cruising. You know, there's just so much to experience. And, you find the things that you like and you want to do. You know, Absolutely. there might be some things that you avoid and think, oh no, I don't like that. But anyway, <laughs> this is a biggie. It starts off the flight to Barcelona and then you've got a 16 night cruise with MSC. Yeah, you? incredible. A relaxing day at sea on board to explore that beautiful ship, walk down that Swartzky Crystal staircase and get your selfie. And then you're hitting Seville. Uh, Cadiz is the port, but one of my favourite Spanish ports, really. It's a wonderful fortified experience. You can walk the walls and the shaded gardens that are in the Moorish style. You can head inland, you can go and explore the beaches or head through to Seville itself, legendary home of Don Juan and Sean Ryan. <laughs> um, well, you've got these wonderful mosaic paved promenades, winding medieval streets and grand squares. It's the, the heart of bullfighting and flamenco and fiesta. Incredible. Then, 
uh, you've got a wonderful chance to go over to Lisbon. We've already featured Lisbon twice in, in the show, so I won't talk about it again, but get in touch if you do want any advice on any of these ports in more detail. A relaxing day at sea before you then go over to one of my favourite places, a place I want to retire to, Funchal, Madeira. Uh, the, 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 the floating basket of the Atlantic, as it's known, uh, the flower basket. It's a bewitching capital full of cobbled streets and quaint museums, buzzing cafes. It's sprinkled with flowers. It's like the Garden of Eden, a mixture of that and the Edwardian England. Beautiful. And it's an incredible place to go and enjoy. Try some espadada, the Portuguese hanging beef. Then we're going through from there, and we're going through to the Canary Islands. 355 days of sunshine a year. Tenerife with Mount Teed, Spain's highest mountain. This humongous national park for you to explore. Get the cable car up, walk back down, explore the coastline, head out dolphin spotting and whale spotting as they migrate through uh, the Tenerife uh, and, and, and Lanzarote and the wonderful Canary Islands. It's an incredible place to go and sunbathe and take in the culture. Then, from here you've got relaxing days at sea now as you cross the mighty uh, Atlantic there and you head out over to South America. You're heading first of all to Brazil, to Salvador. This is the capital of the Baja state um, and it's a, a languid tropical climate with miles of pristine beaches and tropical vegetation. There's over 165 churches here, um, the densest concentration of baroque architecture in Latin America. Would you believe it? It's UNESCO protected but then you're just seeing some of the beaches that you can go and relax in. Um, and again the ancient history of Capoeira comes from here. That wonderful um, style of dancing and martial arts which slaves developed. It all was born out of this part of Brazil. Then relaxing days at sea before you go through to Buzios. Uh, this was originally settled by European pirates and slave traders. It's come a long way since then. You can see why we did settle here when you look at some of the, the beautiful beaches. Um, and in fact, this was made famous when Brigitte Bardot was photographed here in 1964. And since then, it's been really? a jet set area for the glitterati. Then we're going through to Rio de Janeiro um, and you get off, but you don't stay in Rio yet because you fly over to the Iguazo Falls and you do two nights stay there in the Iguazo Falls. This is incredible. This is, we'll put it this way, Eleanor Roosevelt is said to have quoted Poor Niagara when she gazed upon these few really? the falls. Yeah, look at that. They Absolutely incredible. Um, it's, it's a chain of hundreds of waterfalls that go on for nearly three kilometres. <laughs> it's absolutely I mean, stunning. I, I just can't imagine how vast that must be. It lies between Brazil and Argentina, and it's an, an amazing rainforest of, 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 you know, in between these, these two countries. It's absolutely stunning. Then you've got two days there to explore that, including a full day tour to the, to, to, to the falls, before you then fly back to Rio, and then you get another two nights in Rio. This is incredible. We're going to show you some video footage now. Passionate. The lively, the, 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 the wonderful island full of miles upon beaches, whether it's Ipanema, whether it's Coco Cabana, whether you're going to go out to, to the Sugarloaf Mountain, you're going to go skydiving off the top, you're going to see the Christ the Redeemer statue standing in guard over the city. Of course, it's had the Olympics, it's had the World Cup. It's an incredible place. I mean, Keith, this is a trip of a lifetime, isn't it? It, it really and, is. You know, for you to plan all of this yourself and you to book all of the, you know, all of this that you're seeing right now. Imagine what you could spend. Our price tonight is under fifteen hundred pounds, and that's for balcony, of course. As well, it's for it's it? for a balcony. And you've, got oh, all, yeah. you've got you know you've got all your entertainment then when you're on the ship as well, and all your food. It, it it's stunning, Sean. It really is. Keith and I just can't. Well, no, I was going to say we can't wait to retire. We'd still want to do the show, wouldn't we, Keith? Look, but 50, we'd like to do a lot of these cruises. We would. We could go together. We'll go together. <laughs> we'll go together. We'll cruise the world together. Fifty nine pounds per person per night, Sean. <sighs> I, I I can't get my head around no. that because I stay my, my hotel that I stay at when I when I do these shows is fifty nine pounds. I know, and, it's, and yet I, I pay that per night for this cruise and go out there. It it's going to be busy. This is what's included tonight. So it is an exclusive deal to Planet, of course, as well. You are getting that free upgrade from inside to a balcony. Once you've had a balcony on a cruise, it's a little bit hard to go back to the inside. You're going to get to trial on this one. Return flights are included and you also get the two-night stay, of course, with a full tour and a two-night stay in Rio de Janeiro as well. So you get to see the falls and the Rio de Janeiro with those extra hotel stays as well. Right, okay. We're going to take a deep breath because we've got a first <laughs> for you right now. And it's a dual cruise, isn't it, Keith? It is. The first it, time we've done this. It's an ocean cruise with celebrity and then a fantastic river cruise as well together. 
let's start with, of course, Celebrity. And this is on board the Silhouette. It is. Yeah, again, you're looking at the, the beautiful Silhouette, one of the Solstice class ships in, in the fleet. Uh, so again, you're, you're looking at the top of the top of the range facilities for Celebrity. You're looking at beautiful dining that we've both experienced. It's a five-star oh, yeah. uh, environment with modern luxury. Um, I love the selection of different restaurants that you have on board. You know, the, the, the abundance of hot tubs out on the open deck. If you do want to be sporty, you can go and relax in the gym. You can get involved with so many quirky things on board from, from artwork. You know, from getting involved in the oceans ahead presentations that the ship's officers put together, tell, you know, telling you how the ships are basically safe fuel and how they are good for the environment. That's one of the great restaurants of cuisine where you have the menu on an iPad and you get popcorn, shrimp, uh, sushi, lollipops. You know, you've got Cafe El Bacho for coffees. You've got your, your great chance to go through and eat in some amazing restaurants like the Tuscan Grill. Uh, you have lobster flambéed in front of you. You know, you can go and get a crepe um, in the Bistro on Five. It's an incredible place where you can go out on the lawn, real grass. Real grass. Will there be up there a concert? You might be playing a croquet. Around the back there is the Sunset Bar where you can have oh, a that's drink. Oh, my favourite. Love it's it. Brilliant, isn't it? You know, as you sail away from these ports, oh, Sean, and, you know, you're, you're having a cocktail and great service as well and this here is the martini bar it's the center of the ship there's music playing you have these amazing cocktails it's always lively there's always a wonderful life to it and then if you get time if you can make time go and see the shows <laughs> and again <laughs> the, the standards are you know incredible you know they really do match west end shows so you're going to be on the ship for the first part of this holiday it's a nine night cruise and it starts um, from Southampton, we're making our way over to Oslo, aren't we? That's right, and you've got a great chance here uh, to explore the forest-clad slopes uh, that plummet down to this island-studded fjord. The sailing is incredible. Be out on deck a couple of hours before you arrive and as you leave. You dock by this Yakashus Castle, which is a beautiful medieval castle. Great views from the gardens right down the fjord and into Oslo. The waterfront is a wonderful place where you've got loads of great 19th and 20th century buildings. A great chance to go and see some great museums as well, including the Viking Ship Museum with three of the world's oldest Viking ships. And a chance for you to go and see the screen, you know the screen painting? You, yeah, you can see I've it. always been to see that. Apparently it's not that big in real life. No, it's right? not. No. And you can see it's it in amazing. person here in Oslo. It's great. Um, but it's an incredible place. I'm an overall Peace Prize Museum as well, Sean. It's great. Okay, then from uh, from here, from your overnight here in Oslo, uh, and a great chance to explore, you then go through to Skagen. This is a 600-year-old fishing town. Uh, it's made famous uh, in it really because of the many writers and painters that have, that have painted and written from here. It's a sandy beach area, and this gets more hours of sunlight than any other part of Denmark. It's really, really beautiful. Okay, then we're going from here through to Helsingborg. Um, this is a wonderful seaside town that sits on the Orisund, which is the strait between Sweden and Denmark. Uh, and it's really close to Helsingør, which is the setting for Shakespeare's Hamlet. So you can go over from here and you can explore uh, Helsingør and also Kronberg, the castle, of course, uh, which is famous if you do it as you are a lover of the Bard. You can also go and see the Odesund Bridge, which is Europe's longest bridge. It's 10 miles across the Odesund Strait, and you sail under it normally. It's an incredible experience. Then from here, you're going over to Frederica. Uh, this is again in Denmark. It's right on the Jutland Peninsula. It's a historic Danish military town. Great chance for you to go and, uh, and walk in some of the wonderful architecture and get some of that wonderful bracing sea air. A relaxing day at sea again as you sail around the coast. So much to see and do, so much to enjoy on board before you then arrive in Amsterdam. Now, in Amsterdam, you've actually got uh, a night nice stay in a public hotel, haven't you? You do, and Amsterdam's amazing. You know, people think of the famous residents like Rembrandt, Van Gogh, Anne Frank. Go and see her, you know, where she wrote her diary in that wonderful canal side house. Explore it by river. Uh, it's an incredible place to do. Hire a bike. Mac bike's my recommendation. And cycle the city. Go and see Euster Park, the Lix Museum, uh, um, Blondell Park. There's so many great places in this city. Do you know, to go I've actually explore. never been, Kate. Oh, that. sure. I know, I'm saying. I, 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 there was a stage in my life where I was going every year with a good friend of mine, you know, and, and it's, it's an incredible city. It's a great place to go and enjoy. Um, and it's, you know, it's a misconstrued city, sadly, because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And at night, all the fairy lights light it up. And you'll see really? that with all the bridges, because there are so many bridges 1,280 bridges. Uh, it's quite confusing to walk around, so do take a map. The locals are very, very friendly and they'll point you in the right direction. Now, that's kind of, that's part one, because then here is this your is Emerald Star 
River Cruise. And this is, I mean, we featured Emerald the Wilga, were honestly amazing, off the scale. Yeah, really great. Bearing in mind that all their ships are 2014 onwards and so the build. Brand new so ships. The newest, yeah, the newest fleet, uh, the newest ships in River Cruising. Um, they, don't, they don't charge um, any tips. It's all included in the price, which is quite unique within the industry. Their cabins are larger than other cabins. Um, and also, they've got many spectacular innovations with their ship, Sean. Uh, they have an onboard swimming pool that actually converts into a cinema, would you believe? Uh, they've got a revolutionary open air system that allows you to enjoy your balcony wherever the weather, because the part of the part of the actual top of the balcony or the window comes down and lets fresh air in, get fresh air into the cabin. Um, you've got a great chance also to enjoy uh, a swimming pool with a bar. Again, all on board, which is quite quite unique. Yeah. Great service, local food, um, all that food, all the drinks also included, and the, and the, and the, and the, the the ingredients used for the food are brought on board every day and the menus reflect the regions that you're sailing through. Uh, Twiggy launches all their ships, you know, the, the, yeah, like of course, the fashion yeah. on Twiggy, she launches all their ships. That should give you an idea of the class. And, and Keith, we were talking earlier, they, they seem the perfect partner with Celebrity if you're doing an ocean and a river cruise, don't Absolutely, they? because you're both you're looking at two five-star products yeah. being merged together. That's why we put these two together for you. And, and um, both offering modern luxury. Both offering, offering modern luxury, absolutely, Sean, yeah. So you, you, you go, you get on board, you're welcomed on board by the captain by the cruise director, he gives you a bit of a chat, uh, you have a welcome dinner, telling you what you can do uh, on your first day, and you get another day then to explore Amsterdam. But what they actually include is all the tours, so because it's a river cruise now, which tours are included, and the tour that you're going to get a chance now is to go through to the, to the amazing, amazing garden of the Kirkenhof. Okay, uh, this is an incredible chance for you to go and see this this incredible 79 acre um, garden that's full of tulips and daffodils and hyacinths, um, more than 7 million flowers. There was a picture before that we saw the Kirkenhof. You just bring it back up. There we go. There we go. That's just a, that's a section oh, of the garden. Beautiful. Okay, you get that, then you'll have a chance to explore independently around the 16th century merchant houses, walk along the cobbled streets, and then go back to have dinner on board. Then you sail through on the ship, again river cruising, always something to see as you're going along the river, to Antwerp in Belgium. It's incredible. Um, Belgium's second largest city. Um, it's got a lot of history there, including the artist Rubens, who, 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 who painted from here, and you can see a lot of his work. Um, and then, of course, you get a chance to see, uh, again, the Café Field Cobbled Streets and the Renaissance Town Hall and the Gothic Cathedral of Our Lady. OK, then we're going through from here to Bruges in Belgium. We've already talked about this, so I won't go into it in too much detail, but you get a guided tour included, taking you through the cobbled streets of the old town. That's again included. Uh, and then you get to go back on board. Uh, then, the next day after that, we're going through to Veer in the Netherlands. Um, this is incredible. In 1953, it was heavily flooded, and so what they did was they built this, this, this series of flood defences. We need these in parts of the southwest, don't we? Uh, and, and you can go and, and see them. Uh, and they stretch all the way from Rotterdam, all the way to Rotterdam in South, in South Holland. And you get to go and take in the history uh, and see what they did in order to protect themselves for the future. Then the next day you go through to Arnhem. Now Arnhem in the Netherlands, of course, is famous for the Bridge Too Far movie. The, the, the famous Montgomery had that wonderful plan to try and shorten the war. It didn't work out. You can go and see the famous bridge. You can go and see the history of what happened, of course, during that part at that, that, that time. Um, and and all, all the history of when the Germans invaded in 1940, all the museums, it's incredible. And then you come back on board, have a farewell dinner as you depart then for Volendam. The Volendam's the next day. Uh, you get a wonderful chance here to walk around Edam. You know where Edam cheese yeah, comes from, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> You get to walk around the city. Uh, and it's also got, it was also used to be a great shipbuilding place. It was home to 33 shipyards. You get to walk around all, all there and see the wonderful, uh, try some of the local cheese. Some of the residents still wear their traditional Dutch costume because you're going to go through to the fishing village of Volendam. And then from there, you're then going to go through to Horn. And this was the centre for the Dutch East India Company. Prosperous, powerful town from the 13th century. And again, a great slice of modern, local Dutch life that you would never see unless you get a chance to go really in deep on the river cruise. And uh, then back to Amsterdam before you get off. And now, so much included as well. Didn't even mention you get the free classics drinks package with Celebrity and then all-inclusive drinks included on Emerald Waterways as well. Excursions in every port on your river part of this cruise and connected to Wi-Fi, that's on the uh, Emerald Waterways River Cruise of course. All of your flights and again we can find flights from most UK airports and that applies generally to all of our cruises. Amazing value, 2699. So, the Drinks with Celebrity, your first part of this cruise, includes all of your teas, coffees, beers, selected wine, spirits, and then with your Emma Waterways 
river cruise, you've got so much as well. Free Wi-Fi, free drinks, uh, tips are included, over and out of body in Amsterdam and excursions in every part. That is amazing. It's the first place to offer the best when it comes to ocean cruises and river cruises together. Got to say here, Joe Hemp has got in touch on Twitter. He said, even though the football's on tonight, can't keep away from Planet Cruise, Beefy. Another great show with some brilliant cruises. Thank you very much, Thank Joe. you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, let's <laughs> recap. I know we've only got a couple of minutes. So we started off with Princess Cruises. This is about the Emerald Princess. Seven nights, uh, Spain, Portugal, France and Guernsey there. 599. My advice, go for the balcony. You can get it for 799 and then you'll get $300 on board spend. We then moved on to that amazing two-week Scandinavian Russia cruise with Celebrity. Look at this, a free upgrade to an ocean view. You'll get the drinks package for the full two weeks for that 1399 And it was a, a buy and get one half price, so the savings have been included in the price on the screen there. We then moved on to Norwegian Cruise Lines on board the Norwegian Jeb. This is incredible. It's a 60 night Niagara Falls in New York stay with a cabin cruise. Free all-inclusive drinks no matter what cabin grade you go for. That is very unusual. Get that on the inside cabin as well. Return flight. You've got the Niagara Falls tour and you'll even get two nights in the four-star hotel in Niagara Falls and then the Amtrak train journey from Niagara to New York. Then p &O, very quick on this one because we had a big price reduction of £200. It's a 10-night Western Med cruise. And again, your price starts at just 699 with only deposit today. Don't forget, flights available from Manchester, Birmingham for a £20 supplement. Then, of course, MSC. 21 nights, Barcelona to Brazil and a free balcony upgrade there. It's an exclusive deal and you even get so there's fabulous tours included and the two-night stay in Rio de Janeiro. And we just saw a, a, a first for the show, the best of both, uh, a nine-night ocean cruise with, of course, Celebrity and a seven-night fantastic five-star cruise, of course, with uh, Emerald Waterways there, of course, at 2699. You've got all your drinks included, of course. You've got excursions, your flights, uh, so much for 2699. Don't forget, we've got another show on Friday at 11 a.m. this Friday, so do tune in for that. And just a few final reasons to book with Planet Cruise. Of course, award winning service that is unbiased. We're open seven days a week and a price guarantee as well. Wow, what a show. What Keith, a show. You've loads of tweets, haven't you? I have. Greg Smith here saying, uh, can't believe the MSC value under £500 a, a week for a three week holiday with a balcony on the cruise. In Holroyd saying some great deals again, Keith. Got a lovely picture here tweeted in from Andrea Pritchard. Thank you, Andrea. Um, which is fantastic. Nick Tavender just got in from Panto Rehearsals. What a picture. And uh, I've got to also say hello to Michelle, Emma, Chloe, and Matt uh, Kingseller from Whitstable, apparently watching for the first time. Oh, thank you, guys. Keith. What a show. I know. Amazing, wasn't it? It was great. It was great deal. Oh, the Thompson deal. Don't forget 